Hey, my name is Phil and in the system.io tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up a custom domain and custom email address and also then integrate it to system.io because this is one of the most common problems that people face and let's be honest, it's kind of annoying the way they've set things up. However, it's necessary. So what I'm gonna do in this video is walk you through step-by-step -step how to set everything up and hopefully within 10 minutes you should be done as well. Now just before we get into the training, if you haven't yet got system, I've also got my bonus system accelerator course. I give out to people who purchase system.io through me. It's actually free to get started. So basically it's a free course that you can get. So if you wanna grab this, make sure you grab it and get started to system with the link in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the main reason people want to set up a custom domain and a custom email address is obviously for your funnel name. But the most annoying thing is you can't actually send out any emails until you have a custom email address added. So what this means is you can't use any at gmails, any at hotmail.coms, anything like that. It has to be your own custom domain. So let's go ahead and walk through how you'd actually find your own custom domain. So for this example, I'm gonna use Namecheap. I in fact use Namecheap for all of my domains, not only because it's extremely cheap, but you also get privacy added for free. So if someone looks up your domain, they can't see what your name is and what your phone number and all that sorts of information, it's all hidden. So I recommend getting Namecheap. Once again, I'll link down in the description. But you can see you can get a .com domain for just $6.49 for the first year, and then I think it's around $11 every year after that. So it's really, really cheap. So what you wanna do is just come into this little bar and then start thinking of some names that you wanna get for your funnel. So just for an example, my brand is called funnelseam.com. If I go ahead and click on search, this is not going to be available as I already own it. So what I would then have to do is decide if I wanted to change the last .com into something less more recognized like .co or .net or something like that, or else I just have to find a new variation of my brand. For example, if I was like, hey, I'm gonna talk about making sales funnel systems. So let's look up philssystems.com. See if that's available. philssystems.c, that's a new one. philssystems.com is not available, that's fine. Um, I'll put in here Phil's funnel systems, okay? This is just for an example. So philsfunnelsystems.com is available. If it's your first time on Namecheap, make sure you use the uh, the discount code NEWCOM649 in the checkout. That's gonna bring it down to $6.49. And then you could go ahead and add it to your cart, okay? So I'm just gonna add this to my cart now. Now the second thing we are going to need is actually domain hosting and email hosting as well, right? So we're gonna buy our domain, our domain. The next step is to get business email. So go ahead, come to the top, click on business email. Right, and you can see down here on the starter plan, you can get a custom email address for just $1 a month for the first year, and then it's only $1.24 every month after that. So it works out to be about $11.88 for the year, plus the $6.49. We're talking about getting a little bit of change back from $20 for a whole year of custom domain and custom email address. So what you wanna do is click Get Starter, right? And inside here, you can also just go through purchasing the domain there, or you can use, I want to use the domain in my cart, which is what we are gonna do. Okay, so we choose the domain, click on continue. Okay. And now it says, how many emails do you want? I'm just gonna choose one, click add to cart. Okay. And now if we go to our checkout, it says $25.54 for the year, but this is because I can't get the discount on here. So once that's brought down, I think it's maybe just over $20. So it's as cheap as anything. So what you wanna do right now is click on confirm order. If it's your first time on Namecheap, you can go and register the, your name, your address, all that sort of stuff and get the domain. So what I'm gonna do for this example is actually log into my account and show you a domain I've previously put. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to be integrating this domain here, no way nine to five. I've also purchased the email plan to go with it, the starter plan. This says active, yours probably is ready to set up. It's fine, we'll walk through all of the steps. So what you wanna to do to complete everything in this tutorial is have three tabs open in your browser. The first one, come to settings, then scroll down to custom domains. You should have this page here. Next, go and find your domain. On the right, it's gonna be in domains list in your back office. Come across to the domain you wanna use, click on manage, okay? And then once that loads, you wanna to scroll to the right to advanced DNS. Okay, and then we can actually start building this all out. The first thing to do, 
come to the top right here, click add domain. Inside here, you wanna add in your new domain. Make sure you add in the www. So no way 925.com, okay? And once you click save, it's going to give us a set of instructions we need to install into our domains DNS, okay? And it sounds technical and it is kind of technical, but I'll walk you through step by step how to achieve it, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is just copy everything before this period. So in this case, it's www. Keep in mind, we want a C name and let's go to our next tab, open up domain, uh, the, the name cheap domain, okay? Come down here, if there's anything already inside of your DNS, you can just go ahead and delete it, you don't need it. So I'm just gonna go and click add new record. I'm gonna scroll down to C name, okay? On host, I'm gonna paste in that www. Next, we wanna go back to system and we want to copy this entire text here, okay? And then paste it in the value and then click on this check, okay? So that's the first one done. And if you accidentally click off the, the uh, instructions, don't worry, just click show instructions and they'll appear again. Now next, you see how we've got everything before this first dot? Make sure you just get all of the information before that first dot. Okay, right click and copy, right? Come back to advanced DNS one more time. Click uh, add new record, choose C name once again, paste it in here like so, and then come back to settings and then we wanna copy this entire lot, okay? And then paste it into value and click check, okay? Super easy. So interestingly, that's the domain side of it done. So this is gonna maybe take about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. But in 10 minutes, this means you will now be able to connect your sales funnel to your new domain, which is really cool. So now the next step while this is propagating is actually clicking on the emails tab. And inside here, we need to add in our domain with even more records so we can send emails from it. So what we wanna do now is click on this little button here. And now we wanna type in our domain, this time without the www. So no way 925com click on save, okay? And this time it's going to give us some more uh, records to add in. So we're gonna go ahead and add these in now. So the first one you wanna do is type, is get this first part of the, um, before the period, before your domain, okay? So once again, C name, right? Paste it in here, okay? This one, this time we're just gonna copy the whole value, right? Click on check and click save. And the good thing about this is once it's done once, you don't have to worry about it again. And this time we're gonna get everything up to domain key, right? And then same thing again, C name, right? Paste, okay. And then copy this one and paste, right? Click save. And the same thing again, this time the second one, okay. Copy all that up to the dot and then add new record, paste. And then we'll copy this key too. Okay, paste it in as value, click on the tick. And then the last one we need to do is actually a text record. So this time we'll copy this one again. Okay, add record, scroll down to text. Once again, paste it in there, come to settings and we can just click, click copy, all right? And then we'll paste it in here like so, click on check. Okay, and now the hard part is done. Now we just have to wait a little bit for this to actually um, be set up as a sending domain. Now I tried to <laughs> delete this so I could re-add it to show you how it's done, but basically what you wanna do now is click here to confirm your email address, and then you wanna go and type in um, your email. But first we actually need to set it up. So if you haven't set it up yet, come to uh, your email account. You'll see there's the starter plan, so write down, come to private email. You'll see this, come across to manage. This is the new one you've just purchased. Now, if it's your first time setting it up, it's going to say um, set up. And basically, it's just going to say what is the name you want for your email. So I chose hello at noway925.com. And it's going to ask for things like a password. And then it's going to bring you to this page here. So what we need to do here is come to the bottom. You'll see here is now your uh, mailbox. On the right, you can see this little drop down. Click on open webmail. And it's going to bring up this browser here. Now what we need to do inside a system is come back and this time type in your sender address like this and then click on save. And what's going to happen is you're going to get sent this email here. 
confirm sender email into system. So you're gonna go ahead and click on this button. It's going to bring you to this page. You're gonna click on confirm and then your email is then going to be added inside of here with the status verified. But since this is still pending, you'll have this little yellow uh, exclamation mark here and it says to send emails from this email address, you need to authenticate its domain, which is what we've already done. So now it's just a bit of a waiting game. You can press reload as many times as you want. Sometimes it takes five minutes, sometimes it takes an hour. Unfortunately, it is what it is. So what I'm gonna do is just pause the video really quick and I'm gonna see how long this actually takes to complete. Okay, we are back. That took about 35 minutes. Honestly, a lot longer than I had hoped. But regardless, it is now done. The little exclamation next to our email address is gone. We are now verified. Email is verified. If we go to the custom domain, that is now ready to use. Amazing. So now you can go ahead, you can start creating email campaigns, building out funnels. You can also link your domain to your funnel and I'll quickly show you how to do that. It's really easy. Let's just say it's this funnel here. If you wanna attach your new funnel to um, your new domain to your funnel, just come into the funnel, choose funnel settings and simply choose the drop down. Boom, this entire funnel has now been changed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, if you wanna get my free training, make sure you join using the link in the description. If you're just getting started with uh, online marketing, digital marketing and affiliate marketing, I've also got an epic free training I've just finished. Get that down free. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next video.